crises in rivers as corpses litters the streets over boundary differences. Uh, you see, this issue of boundary differences is another very serious issue that causes uh, that causes communal clashes. And um, it's another thing that brings a state to its complete end. So I think there is need for an immediate action. An immediate action. Because this very one that is happening in rivers is a very serious one. A very serious one, I'm telling you. A very, very serious one. And I think there is need for military intervention. Yes. There is need for the military for military intervention to bring peace immediately. Immediately, because this destruction that is presently going on, according to the broadcast, is just too enormous. As we speak, in rivers, there is a very serious crisis. Um, buildings are being raised, you know. Um, churches are being raised, you know. Um, uh, corpses littered everywhere on the ground, you know. People, you know, killing, destroying. In fact, it's a menace. Houses raised cars, bonds, and many things. And this is as a result of boundary difference. Different, and they, they, they are fighting over the boundary between uh, um, Bakasi and um, Equio people, you know. They, uh, they call them, they call them the, uh, the, 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 the Equio, you know, the, the, the boundary between Akpabuyo, local government area of Cross River State and um, Ambakasi. So they are fighting for this, uh, for this boundary. And this alone has caused a very, very serious uh, uh, issue and is causing a very serious fight. I'm telling you, a lot of people have died, you know. In fact, there is need. There is need for immediate uh, immediate attention before anything serious uh, begin to happen aside from this. You understand? And we are meant to understand, according to the broadcast, that this alone has left a lot of dead bodies on the ground. A lot of dead bodies on the ground. And then... Um, a lot of people are already leaving the community to seek for safety elsewhere. What do you expect? That is what we definitely come to play. You know, nobody wants to be where there is crisis. Nobody. Nobody wants to be where there is crisis. You understand? Nobody. And um, even um, the police stations are also raised. The police are supposed uh, uh, supposed to be to be the ones to safeguard the interests of the people. Are also running <laughs> our Nigerian police. All right, this is what happened anyway. More than fourteen houses have been burnt down in Ikot Enan community, a Babuyo local government area of Cross River State. The incident, according to an eyewitness, Ekbu Eyo, occurred on Friday night and Saturday morning as other property worth millions of naira were also destroyed. Daily Post gathered that electronics, furniture, personal belongings, cash, motorcycles and other valuables were destroyed. It will be recalled that in the local government council of Bakasi and Akbabuyu, the bank that serves 
the two local governments, including police stations, were destroyed during the NSAS demonstration. Our findings revealed that the workers of local government council don't go to work as the secretaries of the council were partially touched. In a chat with Daily Post on Monday, the chairman of Bakasi Local Government Council, Honorable Yadim Yadim, lamented the level of destruction in Akbabuyu. He said, crisis has engulfed Akbabuyu because there is no clear-cut boundaries between Bakasi and Akbabuyu and that that one cannot really tell where the boundaries are. On Friday night and Saturday morning, there were reports of mayhem and injuries inflicted on the people, where over 14 houses were raised down completely in Etak Inan, Ikot Ena, ward of Ababuyu local government area. The problem continues, meanwhile, at Ikot End. There was a corpse found by the roadside. The corpse was suspected to be that of an Okada rider whom it was alleged was killed and his motorcycle taken away. The people of the two local government councils should come together to embrace peace and love as the level of destruction is much. The need to wake up already they have sacked the local government. They have sacked the police and the police station. The only bank that serves the two local government areas has been shut down. What are we talking about? Civil servants no longer come to work. Many people who built houses in the area have vacated because of fear. I plead with the youth to down tools and embrace peace. What will they achieve if they continue with violence, killings, and maiming of innocent people. The traditional rulers are helpless because things are far beyond their control. If governments cannot control them, who are the chiefs? They could be eliminated if they challenge them. They could go to their local houses and eliminate them. Hence, they have to trade with caution to save their lives. The book lies squarely on the table of the government to liaise with the two local governments to achieve peace and love. He suggested there is need for, for, for settlement of peace. There is need for immediate intervention. Okay? Alright. Let me hear from you concerning this very, um, this very broadcast. If you are new on this very channel, Deem it free to come in at least to leave your own court. Alright, to leave your own court. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe button if you are new. But if you are not new, drop your comment below the comment section. So that each time we upload new videos, you will be updated. Thank you.